What's up, folks? I'm Dwayne. I'm Alicia. And this is Blackboard Gaming, where we teach you about all these great board games that are out there. Waiting to be played by you and yours. I'm a simple Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of I've Got a Game for That. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about summer memories. As you know, summer's about to end. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? My favorite time of the year is coming. I know. So you, you should be looking forward because fall fashion, you get to get new clothes. Summer break, <laughs> summer weather. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> anyway, all right. So today we're going to talk about s summer memories, you know. And of course, I've got a game for that. We're gonna First, we're going to talk about your memories, you know, talk about my memories. Then we're going to talk about some other memories you know, broader memories okay. that I think everybody has okay. uh, with summer. Okay. All right, so we're going to, you ready? I'm ready. All right, so what is your first memory? What did you, what did you do, enjoy about this past summer? Okay, one highlight of summer for me this year was going to my family reunion in Kentucky and seeing all my family in person. Yeah, I like your family. You know, they kind of sort of like you, too. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I'm because glad. Because you know you are an acquired taste. I'm okay with being an acquired taste. <laughs> but I'm going to uh, build on your family, and I'm going to say, like, friends also. Okay. You know, because it's a lot of family and friends that we hadn't seen in person, you know. So, I've got a game for that. <laughs> so, uh, I'm still having trouble pronouncing this so some people say it's pronounced Ohio I don't know I don't see it but you know in this game is the theme of it it is a block party you know and you're placing polyamino tiles building up your block party to attract meeples to your party and that's how you score points and I I, I enjoyed this game we got it at uh origins yeah. 2019 yeah this game is fun yeah so okay you got a what's your next memory which I know, I know what it is. So the other highlight of this year for me yep. was our cruise. Yeah, we, you know, we went on a cruise. I had never been on a cruise and we did post a, I got a game for that cruise edition, which I'm gonna leave a link in the uh, description below. But uh, I got three games for that. Really? Yeah, I got three games. Okay. And they, we didn't talk about them in the first video. Okay. So first one, we visited small islands. Actually, we did. Now, <laughs> this looks interesting. Where have you been hiding this? I haven't been hiding it. I just, we haven't played it yet. Okay, so, yeah, we need to play. This isn't about pirates, is it? No, 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 we're not pirates. I know how you feel about pirates. Okay, this, this looks good. <laughs> yeah, we are, hold on. You are a daring explorer discovering a magnificent acapella. A acapelago. Did I say that right? I don't think so. But basically, it means a string of islands. Uh, archipelago. Yeah. That really? That you could be in. Stop being specific. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, second game. Blue Lagoon. <laughs> you know. You know what, Blue Lagoon? You know what that title makes me think of? What? You know that kind of cheesy movie with. Um, What's her name? I forgot her name. Uh, In the 80s. Yeah, I know which movie you're talking about. And I don't know her name, but we're going to move on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, Blue Lagoon, you're exploring islands. You see, the, I love... Brooke Shields. Oh, you just had... You just couldn't get past that, huh? No, Brooke Shields. <laughs> All right. The last one, of course, we uh, got some souvenirs. Because, you know, we're in the Caribbean, you know. So, where do you put them? In your whatnot cabinet. Yep, you knew I had to pick this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I have some, you know, based on our cruise, you know, my memories. Okay. So, I've got 
two games for that. Okay. All right. So the first one is I did a lot of swimming. I love to swim. So there's synchronized. <laughs> now this game is a team-based game where you're trying to match your, um, what's the word, I'm, your routine. You're playing cards to match your routine. You know, and it's a memory aspect to it. Now I know you can go swimming indoors all year round. But it's something special about going swimming outside. Yes, it is. And I, I love swimming outside. Yes. Now, the thing is, of course, you're swimming outside. There has to be some sort of awareness. Now, this game used to be in my, I got to get a game for that. But my friend Ralph gifted it to me. And that's this game here, Jaws. Okay. <laughs> so here's a disclaimer, people. We don't have any memories of encountering sharks. Just saying. No, we didn't. But I, the awareness, I had the memory of the awareness that that could be a possibility to experience this type of wildlife. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm just putting that out there. Okay. All right. So, and I got it. Okay. All right. So, all right. A couple other memories. You Wait know. A minute. What? Oh, yeah. All right, all right. So, uh, the next memory is, of course, we went to different cities. Now, my wife knows that whenever we go out of town, what is the one thing that I do? He finds the local board game store. <laughs> yep, I find out where the local board game store, and I'm like, no matter what, we got to go check it out. You know, so, when we were in Miami, before we got on the cruise ship, we went to Cool Stuff Inc. I think that's what it's called. Yes. And I picked up this game. I've got a game for that. Board Game Cafe Frenzy. You know, I was just interested in this theme. And I'm definitely going to check this one out. I like the art and just, I don't know if there's a game uh, that where you're running a board game cafe. So I had to pick this one up. <laughs> All right. What's the other thing that we do, that I always do whenever we go out of town? Well, you don't even wait till we get out of town. <laughs> Yo, one of your other things in the summer are food trucks. Yes, I love food trucks. You know, I love finding the, like the local, you know, like my, my one of my best friends, he has a food truck and I usually help him out through in the summer. And of course, I've got a game for that. So that's this game right here. Truck off. <laughs> that, that actually sounds like fun. Yeah, you got your little food trucks and you're going to different events, <laughs> outdoor events, and you're competing to get the most money. Okay, that, you know. that sounds like fun. All right, now speaking of outdoor events, which pretty much like summer, you know, I mean, I, it's just the warm weather and all that. Where do you usually find food trucks? Mm, at concerts. Concerts? Or... Oh, cars. I've got a game for that. Oh, at a fair. At a fair. So we got fun fair. Okay. You know, amusement parks. You know, I got actually got two games for amusement parks. You know, going to fun fair. So this is a set collection game where you're building up your uh your park. Okay. You know. Um that next actually one. looks fun. Yeah, I, I I think it'd be really fun, you know. Uh, the next one, this one I actually played them. I haven't played fun fair yet. Okay. But this one. Ten Penny Parks. Okay. You know, I I picked this one up and I because I love the challenge because usually when you're building up your park, there's adjacency. This one, you can't be adjacent. <laughs> and I know your spatial awareness, but this has a solo mode. So, so good for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> now, the next one is a game that um we did this last year where we were talking about our favorite summer games, and there was one game that I neglected to put on that list, and I was hurt, <laughs> you know, because what doesn't say summer uh, other than kids being outdoors playing? playing. So four, you know, and I had to put this one on the list. Yeah. Because yeah. I know kids are like just memories of being outdoors, playing with their friends, eating pizza, all that, you know. And I think we need to do more of that. Like kids, get off those video games, you know. 
get outside, play with your friends, ride bikes, do do stuff, outdoor stuff. Yes. You know. So, now, another game that it doesn't fall under, I got a game for that. It falls under, I got a game, get a game for that. And that's a game we played at Gen Con. And that is Skate Summer. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I've got to get that game. Okay. That game is cool. So that definitely goes on the list. Okay. You know. Um, the last game is one thing. I like going to the zoo. You know, I like going to see the animals. Okay. So I've got a game for that. And I picked this specific game, Baron Park. Okay, so just for the record, <laughs> you do know that you can go to the zoo all year. Yeah, but I want to go to the zoo in the summer so I can see the bears. Because the bears be hibernating in the winter, and they just be waking up. You okay, know. so in the summer, they're hiding from the heat, so you still don't see them. Can I get this one? Okay, you can have it. I'm just I like saying. my bears. I'm just saying. Okay. I, I, I love my bears. Okay. You know, not all of some of them just do they do be outside just chilling. Okay, just saying. All right. Okay, well, all right. Then we'll put a quotation mark on this one. All right. Is that okay? That's okay. All right. So those are the games that we have for this um edition. Um I've got a game for that. <laughs> I have fun. I am <laughs> So, if you like the contents of this video, feel free to hit the like button. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And let us know what games that, you know, that do you have a game that... Evokes summer to you. Yeah, evokes your summer memory. Something you, you did this past summer. You know, I'm Dwayne. I'm Alicia. This has been Blackboard Gaming. We will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.